Right. Let's turn the water on. Well, well. What's to say it's not different this time? What if it's fire or something? You're messing with me. I'm totally messing with you. Here we go. Mm -hmm. oh. I'm a little disappointed it wasn't fire. Another waterfall. Yeah. It's two out of three now. Marcel, I went to an absurd amount of trouble to hide the tusk. Well, the tusk was the symbol of Hoysala dominance, representing their wealth and their might. A nice trophy for the Persians. Yeah. My dad always thought that the tusk was something even greater, though. What? Your dad was after the tusk? Well, my dad was obsessed with it. He spent every day and night researching it. All our money wasted on fruitless expeditions. Heard that one before. Ugh. So what came of it? I don't know. <laughs> well, he sent me my mum away. He said it was no longer safe. And off to Australia we went. <laughs> and now here I stand on the outskirts of Halibadu. That's pretty funny. Last stop, the fort embedded in that mountain. That'll be the one with the axe. At least your accent makes sense now. Yeah. Fraser's not exactly an Indian surname either. It was my mum's. Last one back to the car buys dinner. I brought MREs. You're no fun.
clear. For real this time. You handled yourself on. All things considered. What things are those? No real combat training. Ah. Slightly impulsive. I run around the field like a maniac. You need to learn what <laughs> short, controlled burst means. Right. And lost. Wearing red in a jungle combat scenario. I mean, seriously. one by the mountain. Indeed. Makes more sense why I solved after the trust now. Figured he just wanted the money, like us. He'll use it to rally people to his cause, wavered in the government's face. Just like all the other times. This has happened before? Oh yeah. Ever since the young king lost to the Persians, everyone's wanted to lay claim to it, to this land. And here I thought we were just going on a treasure hunt. We are. Let men like Kassav fight over it. It's none of our concern. Parting wars was my concern for the past. Good point. But you did it for the cash. Usually. What about when you worked for Assad? <laughs> Definitely a cash grab. Hardly worth the trouble. Ouch. Why do it then? Needed to establish my rep, eh? Figured I'd start with the worst of the bunch. Nowhere to go but up after that. Beautiful out here. Is this your first visit to India? Yeah. Not a lot of perks. One sec. All right. And you were talking about... Oh, right. Not a lot of perks in this line of work, but travel is definitely one of them. Where have you been? Uh, where haven't I been? Whichever question works for you. Well, I haven't been to the States. Really? Yeah, well, the stuff I'm looking for is usually old, right? The U.S. was only founded a couple of hundred years ago. True. What about you? Where do you want to go? Iceland. Nice choice. Beautiful there. Well, it's quiet. I'm spoiled. And I want to see those northern lights. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's on the bucket list, too. You should go when we're done here. Someday. Have other things to attend to first. intact. You coming with? Feel like stretching my legs. Right, Eo. What is this place? You got me.
<laughs> well, will you look at that? Monkeys. You seem excited. I like monkeys. Looks like there's something in the structure there. Yeah, monkeys. Besides monkeys. What have we here? Let's see. Is it just me, or does that look like a map? It looks like our map. Huh. I'll just jot that down. Another crest of a Hoysala king. Someone went to a lot of trouble to hide this. What about the symbols up there? Symbols? Those figures must be the old Hoysala kings. Eleven, all in all. Look at that bracelet. It must have belonged to one of their queens. No hitchhikers. Shoot. No, oh, you're not them. What, you want them shitting all over the seat? Looks safe. Smells safe. Let's go. Fancy a recce? Right behind you. Let's roll. Watch it. I think Asov's men have that side too.
Hey, look. Shiva's axe. Spotted this on the tower, too. Shiva. He was the god of destruction, right? Yes, but maybe not in the way you're thinking. Once more, it just... <laughs> Here we go. Hey, I'll take care of this one. Okay. Salah versus the tiger. Doesn't seem like a fair fight. Salah won, actually. He was protecting his guru and killed the animal in one blow. It's where the name Hoi Salah comes from. Hoi, meaning strike, in their language. I'll learn something new today. There'll be a quiz later. Water's fine. I mean... They've left their climbing gear. They should come in handy. Correction. Our climbing gear. We are clear. Talk to 
for me. Anything. No, nothing. Cross them. Straight up. Towards the area. Okay? Slightly dead, but I'm good. Good! Let's keep moving. Oh my. What the hell is We'll find out soon enough. Okay, let's see what this does. <sighs> that statue moved. Well, let's see how this goes.
bitch. I did it! Come on over! Coming! Watch out for the axe! Did I get you? No. No? Maybe. Yeah. Oh, for goodness sake. Three statues with two different symbols in them. Star and rings. They're all voice of our sons, but I like your descriptions better.
eye on the statues and symbols. statues and symbols. Share. Feels good to be outside. Weird smell in there. Death. Smell like death. Yeah. I was thinking mildew with all the water. Let's make an axe. Oh, what the hell? That's not fair.
Nice to see you, Shiva. Come on, let's get this over and done with. Yep. Whoa! Shit! See? I told you it was dangerous. You hurt. Just my dignity. Here we go. There'd be water. And now that's three. You know, you're pretty good at this whole treasure hunting thing. I'm a quick study. Mm. One question, though. I reckon that you could pretty much do anything you want. Why are you so keen to get Shoreline back? Seriously? Mm. My partner tends my own men against me. My lieutenant makes off with a bounty. Nathan and Samuel Drake get off scot-free and you're asking why I want Shoreline back. Yeah. It was on my watch. I lost it on my watch. All right, what the hell is that thing you keep playing with? It's my stress toy. It showed up in the mail a few weeks after we got to Australia. All right, we better get a move on. We don't want a salve to get ahead of us. You know, I've had my fair share of screw-ups. <laughs> you just pick yourself up and move on. I don't like to fail. No one does, love. Let's head back to the car. Gotta love a shortcut. Glad we don't have to go back the way we came. I would have made you dodge the axes. Time to do it. Right. Look, for what it's worth, it's your kick ass reputation got you this job. Plus, I figured you could use the money. You're not wrong. Honestly, though, it's actually nice working with a woman for a change. <laughs> Too rot. Not many of us out here. This one arms dealer demanded to speak to the man in charge, then tried backing out when I informed him I was running the show. Ugh, what did you do? Hold that thought. Fraser? Ah, another one. Building up my calluses this trip. Hmm. Good thing I packed my thinking cap. Similar to that lock mechanism I saw earlier. And a bit more involved. Huh. Each dial rotates separately.
come back to you. Now we're getting somewhere.
come join in on the fun. Another token for my collection. Want anything? Found another token. Right. Where were we? Oh, right. Broke both his legs. <laughs> You're not kidding. Just trying to level the playing field. Oh, don't cross Ross. <laughs> I should put that one on my business card. Can't you just walk away to be done with Shoreline? I was born in Tuts. I don't have a choice. Oh, there's always a choice. Forces.
Here we go. Coming. Oh, come in. Should we dance? Try not to break at this time. Sassy. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Just, um, taking it all in. Oh <sighs> Welcome to downtown Halabadoo. Last known resting place, the Tusk of Ganesh. Spectacular. <sighs> hmm. And what? Doesn't it look like there's a dam or something between the two Ganesh statues? Must have been eroded by the falls. So how do we get in? Hang on. Yeah. Look at the crown. It's not wear and tear. You're right. Maybe it was a watchtower. Bet that's how the Persians got in. I have heard about this place for so long. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually looking at it. You should take a picture. Send it to your dad. Great idea. What? You're one of those cultures who can't work a computer? Just take the picture. Show it to him in person then. No, it's uh, just a few decades too late for that. Look, I'm... Oh. Oh, God, please, no. That's fine. <laughs> Shall we, uh, head over to Hullabadoo? Maybe their king should have used their wealth to protect his people and not make such an inviting target. Over here. Uh, swing across. Hey. Uh, okay. Ready? You first. Way up. 
There, look. You can see some structures beneath the falls. You know what? way up. Up here, coming. Go on, this way. You sure it's safe? You know, you keep asking me that. It'll save us both some time if you just assume it's not. Oh, it's oh. Oh. oh boy. It's definitely not safe, by the way. I saw. Think you can get back up here? Yeah. Keep going. I'll catch up. Yeah. I've got you. All right. I can manage. Just accept my help. Fuck. Come on up. But only because you said, please. I didn't, actually. I thought you said Ganesh was the removal of obstacles. He's more than happy to place them in your way if he thinks you'll benefit. Is that why the horse and I chose him for Halibadu? He's also the lord of good fortune, the one you pray to for prosperity and success. Got it. That's cool. <laughs> Is this really the only way across? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> You having fun out there? You know it. I'll let you know. Whoa! 
You're doing great, China. Thanks. I'll be doing better when we get to the farm. Surprised we haven't seen the Saab yet. Knock on wood. Yeah, he's around. Doubt we'll see him up here. Why is that? He doesn't have the stones to climb this high. I think I see a place we can swing over to the crown. Just a little farther to go. Worth it. Oh, impressive. Yeah. Oh. Now, how do we get off this thing? Okay. Easy does it. Sturdy up here. Don't jinx us. Here's our way in, courtesy of the Persian army. Wow, nice shot. Persians must have had a trebuchet. Trebuchet? Can't you just say catapult like a normal person? A trebuchet is a type of catapult. It can handle heavier projectiles, like this one, and fling them longer distances. Right. You learned that in your military training? I looked it up on Wikipedia. Like a normal person. Yeah. Ready? After you. <sighs> Incredible. It's our old friends, Harasharama and Ganesh. Friends? Looks like they're fighting. Well, when the Hindu gods aren't off fighting demons, they're sometimes fighting each other. It's not fair fight. <laughs> been armed. I guess it's not really his style.
Sure looks like it. Through here. Hey, look, our moments. You were right, Nadine. I have my moments. This all Persian? Ah, uh, looks to be a mix of Persian and Hoysala. Both line of the point. Now we're getting somewhere. Another one of these doors. Now let's see. Oh, good. This one actually works. There we go. Nice to get some light. Feels like a crypt in here. Crypts and burials aren't really a Hindu thing. They generally favor cremation. It's a beautiful ceremony, Antiyishti. Sanskrit for last sacrifice. Sacrifice? The idea is our bodies are merely borrowed vehicles and you're returning it so that others might benefit. It's a lovely sentiment. Too late for these poor bastards. Hey, up here. <laughs> what the hell? Jesus. This was it. Their final stand. Well, wasn't enough to save their empire. But their loss is our gain. Here's our way in. Nadine, can you lend a hand with this chap? Sure. Come on, old fellow. Here we go. Excuse me. Sorry. We must be getting close. Hopefully closer than these guys. Well, this device looks familiar. Let's hope it doesn't turn on the water in here. Oh. Well, that's different. What is all this? If I had a guess, I'd say it's some kind of lock mechanism to open that door. Okay, on the left, we have Shiva gifting Parashurama the axe. And on the right, we have Parashurama chopping off Ganesha's tusk. Wait, with the axe? Yeah. The one that Shiva, Ganesha's father, gave to Parashurama? Yeah. Hush. <laughs> it's messed up. That's family. Come on, let's see about opening that door. So how does all this work? Uh, only one way to find out. Let's see what this does. All right, that slid the piece away from me. It's shadow move too. Let's try this. Over you go. I see what's happening. The shadows reach the mural. Right. So let's see if I can line them all up. This actually looks like fun.
I think that's it. We did it. Doors open. Yeah, without any number whatsoever. You're welcome. Salah and the tiger. Here we go. Fingers crossed. That's supposed to happen? I don't know. Just don't get us killed. You're no fun. Ready? Oh. Careful. Mm. Amazing. What a shiver. Mm, my thoughts exactly. Razor! Ross! Oh no. No, it's okay. I think we're gonna be okay. Okay? Where the hell's the tusk? I don't know. None of this makes any sense. Yeah, it does. The Hoysala sent us on a fool's errand. I think you're right. Terrific. No, hear me out. Ganesh is the symbol of... Halabadu. And Shiva was the symbol of... Belor. Which was the old... The old capital. Exactly. What if the king built this spectacular city, and it was a wonderful target for the Persians? And the old capital was forgotten. So this whole city was a decoy. What if they let it get plundered to protect Balor? And their treasure. I'm willing to bet the tusk was never here at all. So where's Balor? This is definitely not supposed to happen. It's coming loose! Oh. We're at the edge, quick! That. I'm really embarrassed for you right now. <laughs> hey. Correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't there a huge waterfall here? There was. What the hell is that? Aqueducts. <laughs> Water's channeling there from the falls. Amazing. Did we do this just now? Well, technically I did. Cocky. <laughs> Look, uh, sorry if I cut too close to the bone back there. You know, you two would have got on like a house on fire. He was also a really stubborn dickhead. <laughs> <sighs> you 
You know, none of this could have possibly gone unnoticed. We should probably get out of here. Good point. Follow me, right? Oh. The water is being channeled toward the gate, so let's follow the aqueduct. Copy that. I'll take point. So they flooded their city to protect their secrets. You think the soldiers knew they were being used as decoys? Honesty's not always the best policy. That's true. You need your people behind you 100%. So you think Asav's keeping his men in the dark? Uh, undoubtedly. Look at this. They're making Don't. progress, no? Maybe. But check out this watch. Took it from that old man in the city. Dumb bastard. Didn't give it up easily. Right. You take yeah, left, I, I take remember. right. <laughs> that works too. Nice job. Probably more where that came from. Right. <laughs> oh, I love you. <laughs> oh, nothing personal.
Oh, sorry. Oh, shit. Where are we? No idea. But at least we're not in the line of fire. Well, hopefully there's another way out. That thing carved on the floor. What do you suppose it is? Nothing good. See those channels? Doubt they were meant for water. Oh. Up here. Think there's a way through. <coughs> Poor bastards. Don't know. I'd prefer being left to rot in a cell to getting tortured. Duly noted. Now, how the hell do we get out? Look up. I do. Yep, there's the aqueduct. Up here, there's a breach. Shiva. That's impressive. My man worked for a week and turned up nothing. They probably hired the wrong expert. Perhaps. You know. A Hoysala poet once wrote of a young king who showed mercy and thus ended our rituals. But the old kings, they understood that progress demands sacrifice. <laughs> Is that what you tell your men? of war, these aqueducts, they would run red through the capital. Those who would not fight had to be used to inspire those who would. to work on your reflexes. <laughs> so slow. First, sow chaos. I will incite my civil war 
Stamp out the weak bloodline of the young king. Starting with you. You okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think so. Mm. Hey, take it easy. You've been out for almost half an hour. Half an hour? Yeah. Oh, shit. <sighs> shit, the Sarv's got the disc. Just hang on. Oh, we gotta get going. Hey, <sighs> relax, all right? Think you can manage? Yeah, I've had worse nights, believe me. <laughs> I won't ask. <laughs> it's good to have you back. There's... There's two of you now, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's go and get our disc. And some guns. And some guns. I just say, you were not joking about Asav. I mean, wow, he looks so unassuming. Right? That's exactly what he wants. Pretty sure his glasses are an affectation. To make him look harmless or smart? Both. <laughs> but he is smart. Was a doctor before he took up his course. So he left behind a lucrative career. I'm sure at one point he thought it was the right thing to do. Hey, you sure you're good to go? Good as I'll ever be. Need to take it easy for a bit. Up here. Go slow. Let's get that thing open. Gatekeeper. That's got to be the entrance to the old capital. It had to be triggered by the aqueducts. Yep. Oh, shit. Asov's already heading inside. Okay, well, better get down there. Come on. No. What do you mean, no? The same Drake. He's a goddamn big but it's same Drake. Yeah. Peace. You know what? This is a good thing. I can kill two birds with one stone. Nadine. What? What? Sam's kind of the reason why we're here in the first place. Oh, you better be joking. This was my deal. 
Sam went ahead to do recon oh, for me on the disc, but then he went missing and I couldn't leave him You knew him my history death. with Sam and then you dragged me into this anyway? Your history with the Sav made you the obvious... <laughs> Don't hold back or anything. Oh, I did. You know what, Nadine? This doesn't change anything. You'll still get your share. Yeah? Or maybe you and Sam will cut me out as soon as you get the task. Come on, man, that's not how I operate. That's exactly how your type operates. And to think I trusted you. Listen, I was going to tell you about Sam. I swear I was just waiting for the right time to... It's fine. I, I could use the exercise. Better go after her. Coming up next.